welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a tutorial on the new Too Faced Cosmetics Sweet Peach Palette. Okay, y'all know I love peach, and I just recently filmed like a peachy look. I can never get enough of peaches, um, but yeah, this palette is absolutely beautiful. It sold out right away whenever it first launched. Got my hands on it, pretty excited that I did. Look how beautiful this is. Y'all know I always mention I like palettes with a range of color, and this definitely has it. So beautiful. Like I love all the peaches, but of course I even love all the olives. So maybe for the next look, I'll do the olive colored eyeshadows. Everybody has been talking about this palette. It smells amazing. It smells like actual peaches. It's antioxidant rich. It's limited edition, unfortunately. But if you did get your hands on this, then lucky you, you get to watch this tutorial and have all the colors. So I am like super obsessed with this. The moment I saw this on their Instagram, I knew I had to get it. I mean, it's all these like spring and summer collections are just so amazing and so right up my alley. So I don't want to go too long into this intro, but if you want to see this look, keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so to prime my face, I'm using the Angel Veil Primer, the NYX one, one of my favorites. And I'm using my favorite foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Foundation. I know, it's really dark, but I spray tanned and my face isn't as dark as my body and now it finally matches. So I'm using my new beauty blender, it's nude. I figured it wouldn't look as dirty. <laughs> and then for my brows today, I'm using my NYX Brow Gel. I never really do my brows on camera, so I figured I would leave that on there today. And I'm using a MAC angle brush, really any angle brush that is thin so that you can create the hair-like strokes. And then I'm going to be cleaning it up with a concealer, and this is the Laura Mercier Concealer. Anytime I find a concealer that doesn't work for my under eyes, I end up just using it to clean up my brows, so that way I don't have to toss it or return it. If I don't really want to return it, I'm too lazy. But this is just a really great way to keep that concealer. Obviously, since it is a little bit lighter, I use the Beauty Blender to blend it all in. Now with the leftover concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over my lid as the primer. So you can always use concealer as a primer if you don't have any. And for my concealer today, I am using the Bare Minerals Brightening Serum Concealer. I'm still giving this concealer a try and setting it different ways. I was using the Becca Under Eye Corrector with it and I felt like I was getting the under eye creases. So I'm trying something a little bit different today. So I'm just highlighting everywhere and then I'm gonna blend it all in with my Beauty Blender. Also, I have not been wearing this foundation and y'all know it's like one of my favorites and so every time I wear it, I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I stop wearing it? It's because I'm always trying new things but y'all know I love this concealer. It's super affordable, it's a drugstore one and it stays all day. And I meant foundation, not concealer. I love this foundation. <laughs> Once you're done blending all of that concealer in, you wanna set it, and I'm using the NYX HD setting powder. I'm gonna use it all over where I applied the concealer, but I'm also gonna set the foundation with this as well because it's pretty invisible. Now to warm up my skin, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And also, if y'all haven't picked this up, this bronzer smells like chocolate. And I'm just using a Real Techniques powder brush. I'm gonna apply this all over where I'm going to contour, but just warming it all up, and then I'll do a little bit more um, sculpting. And to give it a more contoured, sculpted look, I'm using the Angled Bedallium Contour Brush. Using that same bronzer, I'm just adding a little bit more depth by using this brush. I can't help but make this face every time I'm contouring. 
and I'm just warming up the nose, slightly contouring it, not really making it smaller. I just really like doing this to give it shape, I guess. <laughs> and for my blush today, I'm using my Kiko Cosmetics. It's a coral blush. I always forget the number, so I'll write it in the description box. Alrighty, time to bust out the palette. Now to set the lids of my eyes, I'm using the color Peaches and Cream. It's like a slightly peachish white color. And oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And to do a little highlighting underneath the brows, I'm gonna use the color White Peach. And of course, you can highlight it some more because it's not that shimmery. I like it subtle for today because I'm gonna be doing some highlighting all over my face. Now this color is called Puree, and I'm just using a Morphe blending brush, one that is a little bit fuller, and I'm just using this as a transition color so that everything is nicely blended and diffused and transitioned all together. And to blend it all in, I'm going to do circular motions, and I'm gonna do this on the opposite side, and then I'm going to go on to the next step. The next color that I'm going to be using is the color Summer Yum. I'm using that same brush and I'm just making sure everything is blended. I'm going to do circular motions and I'm going to keep on adding a little bit more layers to add more depth. So I'll do it a couple times. Then I'm going to use the color Candied Peach and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. On the center of my lid, I'm going to apply the color Nectar. This is such a beautiful shimmery color. Now with the color Charmed I'm Sure, I'm applying it with an angled brush underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going to smoke it out with the color Summer Yum again. Now with that same Charmed I'm Sure color, I'm using my Balm Cosmetics blending brush and applying it to the outer V. I just wanted to add a little bit more darkness, so I went ahead and did that. And then for my highlighter today, I'm using the Laura Mercy A highlighter. I need to find out the number, but it's one of my favorite highlighters, and I'm just using a Sigma highlighting and taper brush. I will apply this on the highest points of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and not the tip, of course, and then at the Cupid's bow. Next, I'm using Pacifica's Brown Eyeliner in the Waterline. This I talk about Pacifica's eyeliners being so creamy, and they really are amazing. I love them so much. And for my top eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Gel Liner, and I'm using my MAC Angled Brush. I'm also going to be slightly winging it. After that, I'm going to be applying some eyelash strips and then I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. These are just cheap Ardell ones. I've been, I tried the Velour Lashes, um, I'm not sure I really like that one. Maybe for a night that I want to be like really dramatic, but definitely not for every day. The lip liner that I'm using is Soar from MAC. I'm going to be applying this almost to almost the entire lips, and then I'm going to go in with a nude lipstick and lighten it up a tad. Alrighty guys, thank you so much and if you like my videos, please share it with all your friends and family and remember to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.